Welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcoming a uh, little uh, now I'm nervous. Sorry. <laughs> hey, take two. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. Here to join me on my show is from the New Reality YouTube channel, Mountain Man Medium um, named Sean and Cody. Cody is an intuitive empath and Reiki practitioner and has a gift of clear. I'm terrible at saying this if you want to help me. <laughs> or uh huh. <laughs> That's That's the end, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Cody has been in the paranormal field for over 10 years now and has experienced things from doors slamming to disembodied voices, confronting negative energies, blessing homes, and even full body apparitions. Sean is a gifted medium and psychic who has who can communicate with spirits that may still be present in your environment, depending on what is in your home. Um, he may clear your house from lingering spirits. Together as a team, Sean and Cody can capture different phenomenon as well as communicate using specialized paranormal equipment and using their abilities together as one both sean and cody have experiences and with uh, communicating with spirits of different entities the new reality has exper expertise in working with clients to identify address and resolve paranormal and supernatural activities these um, they specialize in a variety of customized services and together have 21 years of experience in the paranormal field welcome guys <laughs> thank you right on we're excited <laughs> to be here <laughs> i'm glad you absolutely guys are here. um so our first question is what interested you about the paranormal and how did you get into the field cody i'll let you lead that <sighs> it's funny uh we get asked this question a lot and uh the, so how i got into it personally was um a uh, personal experience I had when I was living with my parents when I was about 16 years old. Um, my buddy and I, he was over, we were playing video games at like 3 a.m. early in the morning. And we hear, uh, we hear what we thought was a vacuum going off. And I look at him, I was like, why, am I, why is my mom vacuuming at 3 a.m. in the morning? <laughs> so we go out in the living room and it's not coming from there, it's coming from the garage. Uh, so we go over to the garage, open the door, and my dad has a leaf blower and it's in the middle of the room unplugged but it's blowing it was crazy and i look and it's unplugged and everything and i'm like kind of baffled and i look at my buddy and he's like dude go turn it off and i'm like no bro you go turn it off <laughs> so, <laughs> so we had to walk over there and i had to physically turn the little knob to the off position and this only works if it's plugged in and turned on well it was unplugged so I had to turn it to the off thing in order for it to stop. And ever since then, like I just was engulfed into the paranormal field. So, so I got to say that, I got to say in that. So you've never had an experience before and all of a sudden you see that and you go over and turn it off. So well, that tells <laughs> you like you're, you're already like willing to walk into the fucking lion's den, right? Excuse me. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean I, i've had little things here and there but nothing like that prominent you know what i mean yeah. and that just like yeah bro, sign me up bro are you guys like well this is extra maybe i should i'm it's not at the top of my head go for it guys into like the adrenaline rush of it too because i'm that's what intrigues me <laughs> absolutely i mean <laughs> why not so yeah i gotta say like our la just we just got back from virginia city and i got a chance to see my second full body apparition and what was beautiful about how beautiful is probably a kind of a, a, a strange way to put it but i wasn't the only one that saw exactly that so our camera guy the guy that was filling in fake jason was he was videoing us and we both looked down at the same time. We both saw what looked like a, a hunched over person just running underneath us. It was, wow. it was crazy. Yeah. And that's so, even, yeah. What a rush. <laughs> like two, That's what makes me even like, cause I got experience and my dad would say with his brother, like to, to have two people have the same experience that like makes it more validated so much more like, 
there's no other way like to explain you can't question it yeah we didn't That's catch amazing. it but you we caught the reaction of both of us which is going to be a great video in our youtube oh so. how cool is that i'm a new fan now because i started watching <laughs> awesome. Stuff. Awesome. That's why, like, look, they're like, this is actually really, I can see this going to a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> We've I heard that a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's really, Cody and I are, it's a brotherhood. Like, we, we, we work off each other. And, and there's no, I mean, our connection is so strong. Um, he, it's like right and left. So when we're doing sensory depth, if, if you don't mind me going into that. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a connection like Cody's connecting to whatever is going to speak and I'm connected to the questions that need to be asked. We get so much great uh, confirmation of, of, of a place because of our intuitiveness. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> yeah. That helps. Right. That, I think that helps. I've seen when TV shows like they let themselves go with the flow and like, you know what, let me let me feel this let me try this that instead of like i'm not saying because i do enjoy that there's a little bit more um skepticism i can't even say that right <laughs> yeah <no. laughs> bilingual <laughs> i can't say it either so, okay. <laughs> so I like skepticism that. i got you guys <laughs> yeah, thank you i like when uh, people don't say like it, <laughs> <laughs> okay Second question then is, um, <laughs> in one of your episodes on your YouTube channel, the New Reality Par Paranormal, on the investigation of the Donovan Mill, I saw that a chair was caught moving on camera. What was going through your mind when you guys saw or you see things like that? Honestly, oh. freaking mind blown. <laughs> like that was a live stream, uh -huh. dude. That's a live stream. Like it, it, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> That's so me and Cody would laugh about it. We'd be like, oh, yeah, there's some here. And really, where's the recorder? Like, ask some questions. You know, that's what we do. We know we know stuff's there. And we get the confirmations amazing because now we, we've captured it on video, which we didn't catch it on our live. It was on the haunted side. But yeah. like when you catch something like that, you, you get to confirm like, hey, there's something out there that we, we're trying to understand and we're trying to communicate with. So. Right. When Cody and I see something like that, it's like, okay, we'll grab a ghost box, grab something to try to communicate, mm -hmm. you know, a digital recorder, whatever. To, val to validate it, to make it yeah, more Yeah, validate it's like whatever it is, right? Um, And then the second one, and then, then the second part, because I saw the second part too, Um, 23 minutes, 13 minutes in, you guys capture a voice as both of you are talking, which blew my mind, <laughs> you both are talking, and it and it says something. I forgot. I should have put the word there. The woman, right? The woman. Yeah. Right? That that. What was going through your like when you saw it again? I guess in editing, or what went through your your mind when you saw that? Uh, honestly, that's that's my favorite part. Is when so I love investigating like when you're in it, but when I'm editing it, and when Sean and I are both reviewing footage, like and we catch this stuff it's honestly mind-blowing from the first time we caught it because <laughs> it's it's just crazy to me that we're actually capturing this evidence and we're able to put this out to everybody exactly so i mean going over the evidence it, so it's almost like so we're we're putting out a youtube it's almost like we're the first to get to see the yeah the Very youtube awesome. right so oh dude did you hear that it's like you get to say, hey, partner, you know, but, and we do this all the time. We're going over evidence and we'll call each other and go, fuck, bro, I just caught this and I caught that. And it's fun to review things, except static camps. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> camps. Um, but we catch things on static camps, so we have to be patient with static camps. But it's fun. It's fun catching new things. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Um, what was the scariest moments you guys ever experienced on a, an investigation? Ooh, <laughs> see, we get we get this question a lot. I I wouldn't say scary, maybe unnerving is is more of a better term. 
Um, because we do that, like, we love this stuff. We'll go freaking into a dark tunnel and just sit there all night. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, Fire unnerving, mouse. unnerving is probably a better feeling, uh, at least for me anyway. Right. Um, mine, mine was getting, getting shocked at big nose Kate's that, that was, <laughs> that was definitely, uh, something I'll never forget. And something that, that definitely, uh, unnerved me, if you will. Shocked, like electricity shock. Ha- yeah, yeah have you yeah. have you have you seen that episode no not yet <laughs> so okay. you need to you need to go watch that episode because i actually i get attacked by a spirit um Ooh, and you can actually really see good. you can see the red line that it that was left on my back in the video it's okay. it's pretty nuts oh that's crazy <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's yeah. Legit. like we were live streaming and yeah we were recording for a video so to capture it and a live stream and for video, I, it was phenomenal. It was really good. Yeah. Wow. I, I mean, of course, him being attacked wasn't good, but no, no, no. <laughs> the goal. It was. Hey, no, no, captured. it was good. It was good for video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're all about capturing, right? It's all about make. Like here, here it is in your face. You can't, you can't deny it, right? Right. Yeah. No, I, I agree with Cody because I like the adrenaline part because I, I haven't gone investigating yet anywhere, but I have this luck that random paranormal stuff happens to me <laughs> and i have come like really close to stuff dark shadows and stuff or whatever even like attacks in their own way and the adrenaline rush i get it's kind of, it's kind of addicting <laughs> yeah, yeah. To, be, to be in this 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 solid form and, and actually feel stuff around you and to be able to validate that like yeah. if you're if you're a medium or you're intuitive or if you have a, a extra sensitive uh, feeling of you, which everybody has, but mm-hmm. we're all we're all fucking <laughs> not paying attention. <laughs> but like, so you can feel that, and to have that around you, it, it is. It's an adrenaline rush. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> it really is. And what's the fourth? I lost. Do you want me to tell you what, what my scary is? <laughs> yes, yes. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's okay. It happens because I can't beat that scariest moment <laughs> or that. Uh, <laughs> That moment of, you know, because I was hey, there, I was scared. It's, it's not about one up and bro. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's not. But to see, like, to be there and witness it and to feel like I needed to help because I truly knew that you were being attacked. That's probably one of my most scariest moments was to feel like I needed to protect you or help you with what happened. Right. Um, you know, yeah, that's actually would be my it's one of my scariest moments. My brother is being attacked. What can I do to help? Bottom line. <laughs> hey, but I, I will say to Sean's credit, when I'm when I'm getting attacked, he did the right thing by just staying on the video and yeah. looking at he's all bro, are you good? <laughs> As he's still filming. I'm like, this is the best possible thing ever, right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We captured it. And we know we know when we need to intervene. We know when right. we need to like truly we we ha- it's about capturing what happens. Um we both have an understanding with each other that if we get attacked, we're going to be okay. But to capture it, to be able to show everybody this is happening and then deal with it after we've captured the situation. I mean, there's times where we have to intervene because it's getting ugly or we're dealing with something that's really dark. Um, that's when we understand when to intervene with that. But like that moment was about capturing what happened and knowing he was okay. And he was going to be okay. Right. Out of I do this out of the top of my head. Do you guys um, call for help, like spiritually, like angels or anything, when something like that happens? Always. <laughs> yeah. Go go into that. That that's all you, brother. So it, um, we've dealt with recently some dark dark energy, and, and you know, you, people label it different things. I don't believe it was demonic. I believe it was something very dark. I think it had a very negative intention. But like we we work with the archangels, right? So and we've worked with them even before we were doing paranormal investigating. You know, um, I d- I ran a meditation um, group and Cody came in. Uh, I was probably after <clears throat> a good five six years into this meditation group, but it, it was a brotherhood from the beginning. And we weren't even doing a med. He wasn't even in the meditation group when I saw Cody. I was like, uh, I asked his uncle, which that's how we met, was through his uncle. Um, I, I saw him, I was like, who's this guy? And he's, he told me who he was. And I knew right away that we were supposed to do things. We we're supposed to work together and that we had a, a common energy 
and we had a mission here. So here we are, what is it, 15, 16 years later? Wow. Yeah. And we're doing our thing. <laughs> we're doing it well because I think it's an opportunity for us to show everybody that what the old beliefs, that's why it's the new reality. The old beliefs aren't necessarily um, a, cr a true story of what's going on. So we're going to create the new reality. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to show the world that there's a lot more to what's going on. It's not black and white. It's I was not, just going to say that. Uh, it's not just black and white. Nice. Yeah, it's not God and Satan. There's so much in between. And when we did our podcast, we'll go back to that. But it's paranormal, supernatural, everything in between. Because there's so much in between. Um, we're going to study that. Because that's what we're about. And we understand. And we're willing to expand on that. Right. Right. Boom. <laughs> what a good good answer yeah i agree with that too i my form of belief isn't traditional either <laughs> the only right. thing that keeps me like connected to angels is because of my experience with them like since i was yeah young. so i do know that i do believe there's angels and archangels i've seen that <laughs> Cody, you want to go to the a story of uh oron or Oh yeah. So probably our most sure. prominent, our pr most prominent ever like angel experience, I guess you can call it, is we were investigating a boron prison, which is in California. It's a, it's completely demolished now. We were investigating the prison, and I felt like something was um, choking me, like physically. Yeah, I was like, I was having issues breathing and kept choking. It kept following us around everywhere. And finally, you know, we were, well, we were there for what, maybe an hour and a half, Sean, if that. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. And, um, it, it, we're like, you know what, let's just, let's just balance. We're not, we weren't really getting much, um, some stuff here and there, but we decided we do a cleansing prayer after every investigation and we're sitting there doing the prayer and, um, both our eyes, both our eyes are closed and we're like in this little, you know, spiritual circle and <laughs> out of nowhere, we, we both at the same time see this bright light appear out of nowhere and it made us open our eyes and we're looking around like for this light i thought somebody was coming out of the car maybe nothing nowhere to be seen just completely black and sean was like yeah we need to finish this prayer bro <laughs> <laughs> it was so crazy because i it was almost like you heard a little pop when we saw the right. light right and i was like what the fuck was that? <laughs> you know, sorry, I, I've. No, you're it, fine. But it was <laughs> like Mark, not for kids, so you're fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We both looked at each other and we're like, "Wow, like what was that?" And so, yeah, yeah it, it was about it was about closing out the prayer because whatever it was that was following us around in that place and was trying to attack, attach, was trying, trying to interrupt, to yeah, stop the yeah. Um. This is coming. I don't know why I'm getting this, so I'm just gonna say it. I'm getting another question. This is out of experience, though. So I Perfect. grew up in a haunted uh, apartment, <laughs> like from all the way from ten to sixteen around there. So whenever we had like an episode, let's say before our argument or whatever, because whatever we went through was dark, um, I'd see a flash of light. Have you guys ever experienced like a flash of light or something like that? Uh, yeah multiple <laughs> times <Really? laughs> yeah wow often That's yeah it's 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 almost like what sean the last I, i'm not even exaggerating the last five or six investigations we've seen flashes of light right. um so i think the more you get this is just my opinion i think the more deeper you get involved in this paranormal field um the more you're able to see physically and i think that's what that's what you're experiencing oh. Thank you, Cody. <laughs> the reason I say that is, is I, I've complained, what, for 14 years about never being able to see a full body apparition. Yeah, and, absolutely. And I've seen in the last maybe not even two months, the last month, maybe month and a half, I've seen two, um, which one of them could have been, I don't, with, with a lack of better words, a cryptid or, or um, I want to say uh, elemental. Um, at the farmhouse and seeing a full body apparition at the mill, uh, old abandoned mill in uh, Virginia city. Right. Like all of a sudden, since I've seen, it's like now I'm more open to see more. 
Yeah. <laughs> Mine's is not like I wanted to, but since that, since I grew up in that, I guess, and being in that environment, it just opened me up. I didn't, I didn't probably, yeah. wasn't Makes planned. Sense. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I'm going to share an angel story too, wait, because I, that reminds me of when I came over here to Pennsylvania, if you guys don't mind. Oh, please. Absolutely. I was coming from work and my cousin was with me. This is why I think it did happen. <laughs> it wasn't in my mind. It's good to have the, the second person, right? <laughs> um, she's leaving me and we parked the car and I, to me, I hate to say it, you know, remember that Disney Channel, um, Raymond, it's Raymond. Yeah. I get a vision or whatever, it's like that. I'm like, (laughs) for a minute. (laughs) And she's like, what happened? I'm like, I saw something. I'm like, yeah, I felt it, but I didn't see it. And I'm like, up in the front across the street, and it was dark. It was like three in the morning. I saw huge wings and, and like lights, and then like somebody landed on the, on the street. And then she comes oh. and explains to me that um, in that street, somebody, I think it was down the street or in that same street, a lady had died in a car accident or something. So wow. Like, That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> so that was my first, like, seeing it awake, not in a dream or anything, because I'll get yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, You're a dreamer, like, right? Yeah. I'm more like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have a lot of dreams. Yeah. Yeah. That's when you do mo- your most work. So do you call yourself medium? You should. Uh, but anyway, right, I'm just because that's what I'm still struggling with. Like, I don't know what am I sensitive? Am I medium? Am I what? It's like, because I'll it's random. No label. It's, it's, yeah, it's all a label. It's all a label. Yeah, it's, what, <laughs> it's just whatever, whatever you can. Yeah. If you can feel stuff cool, if you can hear stuff cool, just just go with it. <laughs> own it, own it. Don't don't <clears throat> don't question it away. Own it. Um, and and the labels are earthbound, so you don't have to call it anything. You can say I I see things, I understand things. I like to use awareness so it doesn't box it into this this box. It just keeps it open, right? That's why I call it awareness. awareness. That's, that's, my, that's my perception on it anyway. Well, thank you. It makes me feel better because sometimes yeah. I ignore it. <laughs> no, just write it. I do have like journals and stuff I write and I'll look over, but that's about it. I haven't really just Yeah, that's psychic and uh, mediumship practices is, is have journals when you wake up because of your dreams. Yeah, yeah. So you're I, already doing that. I thank my mom for that. And my mom's like, because she, at least my parents, because they both have something. So they knew. So they like, well, just don't freak out. <laughs> just, yeah. My mom at least would tell me, just write it down so it helps you not feel so weird about it later right. so get out on the land because because i feel like you need to be grounded more i feel like it's easy to be out there in that 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 wonderful space we call uh the universe but uh, get out on the ground um put your feet in the, the grass the dirt whatever and, and ground because i feel like you need that you need to get outside of those four walls that you were in you know what's funny? You know what's funny, Maria, is he's not just talking about you. He's talking about me and himself. <laughs> and me. And me. So we all understand, yeah. right? We're all in the same boat. We're all in the same fucking boat. Yeah. And I used to go to the beach a lot. I miss the beach, actually. Yeah, I get yeah. grounded. We all need to get grounded because we all want to be in that realm. And I, I <laughs> we all, it, it's talking about from experience because we all understand it. We all see it, but we just have to be reminded of it. Yeah. That'll be my next hike. <laughs> yeah, I should. I should go to the. I will try to go to the park, but I have a backyard, so I have no excuse. I just I've been lazy too. Like. Yeah, yeah, but you have a backyard, so get your butt out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we got. Oh my god! Well, we got like maybe fifteen minutes left, so let me. Just All good. We'll do. Do one or two questions more, and that way we won't go over. I think. Um. Next question was, oh, let's, okay, you guys are just giving me a little bit of advice, but any advice for someone that would like to join a group or start one to do paranormal investigation? <laughs> yeah, um, bring somebody who has a little bit of experience or study before you just go out and do it. Because um, even when you're just going out throughout your day or, or if you're taking video or something you can you can be something can attach to you um this stuff it's awesome it's super fun but if people don't know what they're doing it, it can be dangerous for sure 
Uh, it's very important to, have, like Cody said, have experience um, because uh, and try not to go to a place that has a dark history. I know people blow it out of proportion, but if you if there's known to be things that are dark, like don't go into those places until you understand your, yourself because it's about what you're bringing into it. Um, right. There's an environment that you're dealing with and what are you bringing into that environment and how is that environment going to um attached to you is it going to be you know you're a threat and and you're being attacked it will communicate with you and be okay with that um that i mean those things are the most important and and then just go in and and know that and have protection have protection well to go on that sean too i this is more of a pet peeve really but not everything is demonic oh i God, promise you 100 <laughs> <100%. laughs> percent I'll, you know what, like what Cody said, you're going to go with 99% of the time, it's not demonic. It's right. not. I, I, um, I'm even going to go as far to say as I don't even think Sean and I, me personally, I don't think Sean and I have experienced demonic investigating, right. aside from what you dealt with, Sean. Yeah. We have, yeah, we've dealt with things that, again, there's not, there's a lot of titles on things. Um, I think Cody and I have, 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 um, met things that aren't necessarily um positive but and may not even be earthly may not even be human based but that right. does not mean that we're dealing with a demonic we're, it, there's elementals which is very native based and there's also multi multi-dimensional things we don't understand most of it but we're we're again that's what we're about we're studying and trying to understand it same. I'm trying to understand it too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've a lot of weird stuff since I was a kid. Okay. Um, the other question. Oh, this one probably make you guys really think. What was your favorite place to investigate and why? I think that would be the last question for you guys. We actually just went over this on our way home from Virginia City. You remember that? <laughs> I do, I do, I do. Um, Top five, right? And, and yeah. it uh, kind of went around a little bit, but honestly uh, I, I think where we just went in Virginia City um, is probably going to be on my top five list so um, the abandoned mill in Virginia City is stupid haunted and there's just a vibe there that I love <laughs> it's uh, I but guess it's kind of weird <laughs> yeah it, it's definitely on the darker side um, but I love it. it it's a great place I think that place and the Donovan Mill are probably one of the most haunted places that Sean and I have both been to. Um, and then, of course, Linda Vista Hospital, where I saw my full body apparition. How about you, Sean? So I, I agree I, with with the abandoned mill. Um, again, that was my my second full body apparition. Um, the Donovan Mill was very, very active. Um, but I would say because I saw my first full body aberration, which I think may not have been human. Um, the farmhouse would probably be one of my most haunted places I felt about because one being in the basement, I'm kind of bummed that we didn't, we lost that footage because it was corrupted by the ghosts. Mm -hmm. I got a rock thrown at me, felt it, caught it on video, heard a woman say, help me. And the, the freaking file was corrupted. So <laughs> that by far was my most prominent and I'll never forget it. <laughs> we're, we're actually in, uh, we're editing that footage right now and I'm going over it and I call Sean and I'm like, bro, the fucking footage is gone. <laughs> oh, man, that's yeah. yeah that's okay. Cool. There was three of us that witnessed it and we all three of us that saw the video and that was me, my, or Cody and oh, okay. exploring Eric um so, so we all saw it validation then but. yeah right right yep. so yeah that was by far my probably my number one right there oh man i wish i could keep staying and talking with you guys this is really good. <laughs> <laughs> um but I'll, I'll let you guys go i did say 30 to 45 i don't want to over take your time um so thank you cody and sean for coming on the channel i hope it repeats this was a pleasure oh my god please go and watch their youtube channel they have a lot of nice like very entertaining videos of like a lot of captures of paranormal so it's really good 
you'll really enjoy it. Absolutely. Well, thank you for having us on. We appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. Great time. Thank you. Same. And then um, all their information, their social medias and everything will be in the description box below. And again, thank you. You guys have a good one then. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Right, for you too. Bye. Thanks, thank bye. you for watching.